We got the Rampage. Yeah. So you might be wondering, how good is this autopilot, guys? How good is this? We're going to throw this on a Leo. We're going to give that bad boy some radiation weapons, and we're going to get the, get out there, and we're going to shred up some red dudes and make them some d -d 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 dead dudes. So what this pilot does is for the radiation weapons or some of the plasma weapons like the Tehran, the Redeemer, the Magnums, the Blight, the Hazard, and the Decay, this increases the rate of fire, which if you can land all the shots, that's a large increase in damage per second. So we're going to go do some gameplay, and then after the gameplay, we're going to do a review on this, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I think of it. Is it worth leveling? Which weapons is it best on? It does work with the Magnums, by the way, on paper. It doesn't look like it works with the Magnums, but when we tested it, it did. And I know what you're thinking. Leo, why would you put it on a Leo? Guys, Leo is probably way better than you guys think. Just wait and see. Let's go do some gameplay. All right, let's go ahead and drop in Mr. Leo, and we're going to head on over to the left. Hopefully that guy goes to grab that beacon over there, and he does not. So we're stuck running beacons with a slow Leo, but you know what? We're going to find somebody, and we are going to unleash the beatdown on their face. It's going to be big. It's going to be bad. It's going to be nasty for that enemy. Um, you know... A lot of people don't think too much of Leo, but guys, this dude is really a beast. I mean, this is the one robot you can get as a new player and play him all the way up into champion lane. I think every new player should have at least two of these in their hangar. They're cheap to upgrade. They're, they're just really good, really good robots. I mean, you can't complain about it. It's a little bit slow. It doesn't have any type of ability, but besides that, if you can get over those things, you're gonna do really well with this. So what's going on over there? Nothing. So let's go ahead and beat these guys up. And I would play them with a 500 or a 600 meter range weapon if possible because this guy really shines from a distance. I mean, he's strong up close, but yeah, I mean, I would want a, I would want some range when I play this guy. So, so far we're over here taking care of business. The targeting system decided to switch targets on me, but look at that damage, holy moly. That's some, uh, that's some good stuff. These weapons, when you land the shots, if they're not using the healing unit or they don't have a crap load of damage resistance going on, these weapons deliver. These weapons deliver. These aren't the only good weapons, but they're one of my favorites from Mr. Leo. Man, we almost took that guy down. So this guy is rushing in. He's like, hey, we got to get that thing out of there. He probably came in and said, holy crap, it's a Leo. You don't see that too often, so we're gonna we're gonna have to take on this Fenrir. Can we win? I think we can. Let's find out. Let's find out. And here he comes, and it looks like he's got the best of me, but I'm using that healing module, so hopefully that healing module will. Yeah, I'm healing up good, man. All right, so come on, Mr. Fenrir. Unfortunately, he's not the only person firing at me, but so far we seem to be getting the upper hand. Let's move on over this way and finish him off. You know, he's probably freaking out right now. I can't believe I'm getting beat up by a Leo. That's what that guy's got to be saying. All right, we got him. Nice, nice. Let's turn around and try and finish that other guy off that's messing with me back there. So, smashed him. Yes, yes. One more shot and he's gone. He will be gone. Let's hit that guy a couple times real quick. When somebody goes behind cover, sometimes you just got to turn around and say, you know what? Let's look for something else to beat up because there we go. Bam! Destroyed. All right, so this guy's coming over here to mess with our stuff, and well, we don't we don't want that. We don't want that at all. So let's go ahead and just kind of blow this guy's robot into little bits. Those purple shields are getting crazy. Those purple shields are just they're blocking everything. All right, now we're gonna fight a titan. I mean, so far we're doing great damage here. I mean, this is uh, this is good. Always oh, killed the Titan. Holy crap! It's a Luchador. So let's go after Mr. Luchador and see what we can do here. I think that'll be good, right? That'll be good. Let's just let's just smash him. Hopefully, he doesn't notice me. He's pro oh god, he sees me. Uh, oh, he smashed me against the wall. So now we gotta fight a Luchador and. Are we actually winning? I mean, I got help from my teammates, but are we gonna win or are we gonna lose? What's gonna happen? He's got, he's got, oh, he's got shotguns. That's can't, that can't be good. Come on, Mr. Leo, don't die yet. Don't, oh man. I'm not sure what your your thoughts were on that, but 
I was not expecting it to do anywhere near that well. That was awesome. Let's go play another one. All right, let's go ahead and drop in here. We got the big map on this one, so this should be a lot of fun. These big maps are great for this type of robot. So let's see if we can get a game that was just as good, if not better than the last one. So we got two or three dudes linked to me. We got the super speed for the Leo. I mean, maybe not super speed, but for Leo, we are moving. That slow dude is moving on down the line. So let's go, go on over this way and see if we can beat these guys up. We got shields. I don't like that. I'm in a pretty good spot here. So I'm taking a decent amount of damage. So I got to be careful. That guy is too darn far away. I want to try and get rid of this guy here because he's going to be a pain to our entire team. But then again, this guy is trying to steal the beacon from our teammates, so I guess we're going to take care of him first. Sometimes you got to look at look at the situation and say, which one is the bigger threat? Right now, to me, that was the bigger threat. So unfortunately, I had to stop focus on, focusing on that guy to take out the guy that was going to kill me. And now that I see this guy is right next to us, I got to go over here and do something about this. So something just hit me with the EMP. I don't like that. They must have like an Erebus or a uh, Typhon over there or something. So we got to be careful. We know someone's going to be coming over to our left very soon. And they're probably going to be coming over this way. So I kind of want to stay behind that building there or close to it so I can always get back to cover. Yeah, that guy's trying to shoot me. So I got to be really careful. I can easily hit the guy that's right in the air now. So we're going to go after him first. Oh, no, there he is. Come on. Targeting system change. Thank you. Freaking shields, man. Freaking shields. Da, 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 da. Someone else got him. But you know what? He went down and he is dead. 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 Now that guy's about to get a big old surprise. It changed targets again, guys. It changed targets again. Come on, Mr. Leo. Let's do it to it. Weapon. What's that guy's name? Weapon Gun H. O2 or something. I can't really read that very well, but unfortunately for him, I think he's about to kick the bucket. All right. So that guy's after me. These dudes are like mean and they're vicious and they're trying to take me down. So we're going to go ahead and run over this way. This is where that healing module really saves your butt, guys. These days, I feel like you really want to have the healing module on pretty much everything. It, it'll really help you out. It, it will help you out big time. So healing modules are what you want. Trust me, you want a healing module, guys. All right, so let's get rid of this guy really fast, and then we'll worry about the guy who's on our beacon. The aerial threat is probably the one we want to take out first. Um, that's a Ravna. I don't see this one going too well. So right now, there is one of our teammates on the beacon, so I don't need to be on it. So I'm going to try and keep my distance for a minute. And now if he happens to die or something, then yeah, I'm going to run up, run back onto that beacon. And the cool thing is that guy can't hold beacons, right? Ravana goes into his ability and he loses the beacon. So haha, -ha, jokes on you, dude. You used your ability and you missed out. So we got the rampage. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, what do we do here? There's just a whole big bunch of grouped up mess over that way. And here comes somebody. What is that? I can't see anything with all the special effects. I think that's a big juicy spider. And I have a bad feeling I'm about to get attacked, attacked by the entire enemy team over here. And that's not going to be good. So let's try and get rid of the spider really quick. We don't like no big juicy spiders around here. We got to get up the newspaper and smush him or some bug spray or something because... Hey, game over. We win. Nice, nice. I'll take it. So I've played this guy on many different robots with many different weapons on the Battlewreck account. So Pixonic gives me an account that I can use to make videos with. And I've tried this out on a lot of stuff. And it does not disappoint. The Redeemers, the Trons, the Magnums, the Blight, the Hazard, the Decay. It just does extra damage. Lots of it. It is good. It is good. Now, there's one drawback. How often do you change weapons on your robots? Are you going to leave the same weapons on your robots all the time? If your answer is yes, then this pilot is for you. If you're like, no, I'm going to change weapons often. Well, then you might not want to level this guy up unless you're just looking to get the gold skills because his ability will become inactive if you use any other type of weapons other than what I mentioned here. 
But bottom line is, it's a very good pilot. It does a great job. It's just, uh, it's not for everybody because not everybody's always going to keep playing the same weapons. But bottom line, this pilot is amazing. It's good. I like it. I mean, it's just awesome in a long, in a lot of ways. But for a weapon specific pilot, I really like this thing. I think it's worth running as long as you're not changing weapons around a lot. So yeah, very good pilot. I think that wraps this one up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell and set those notifications all so you don't miss any good uploads or giveaways or anything like that. So subscribe for more awesome Warbots content. Check out my video's description for some more interesting links to find my other YouTube channels and my Discord server and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day. See ya. Oh, and by the way, check out one of these videos that's about to pop up on the screen right now. Yeah.